What's up, man? 25 gamers. Welcome to our play of the day series. It's a series where we basically just break down uh, one play, talk about why it's good, why it's effective, and try to break it down. The last couple of videos we've been doing uh, zone videos or defensive videos, but I want to talk today about some more uh, offensive type tips. And we're going to be breaking down from the uh, Eagle H. Actually, we're actually going to break down the play from the Giants tight formation play quick hook and uh, what I liked off this is if you guys know anything about the Giants uh, formation here uh, what I really like to do is against tight formations when I'm running tight formations is motion the receiver out three steps snap and you see that that drag route is very effective we've talked about that a couple of times on the play of the day uh, but what I have with this quick hook is this is basically the same thing, but now he's going to go to the outside and curl up. So it's a really good complement to all the other things that I'm doing. So now we're just going to work off other hot routes to beat uh, every coverage in the game. So the first thing that we like to do is we like to take this guy Meacham and we're going to put him on a hitch route. Then we're going to take this guy uh, Darren Sproles, we're going to put him on a streak. And then we're going to take uh, Marcus Colson and we're going to put him on a uh, in route or we could put him on a smart routed out route. I really like the smart routed out route personally uh, just because it works better. But another thing that you could do is put him on a smart routed in route because a smart routed in route, as you know, is, is going to the side of the play. We talked about that packaging concepts idea and, and what it looks like. You see that it's going to beat man to man unless their cornerback makes a really nice play. Uh, but what's good about this play is that the routes should work off each other really good. So um, the first read obviously is going to be that little curl route. Can we fit that in? And if we can, uh, we're just going to take that all day long. Um, but and then the next read that we like to do here is we like the corner route against the man. You see how it gets really effective separation against man and uh, really roast man-to-man -man coverage. Um, the next the next route that we like to look at is the at this point the. Uh, in route should be coming across and you see with the pass lead to the inside it does a fairly effective job of beating man to man defense then the uh, next read that we want to look to is the running back pass lead down to the inside and you see that it also beats man the hitch route quite frankly is mainly just for zone it's not going to beat man and it's only going to beat several uh, just a couple of different zones here so we're just going to run through a cover two and a cover three scenario for the sake of time um, but basically again our first read here cover two sinks not going to be open but you see it opens up that corner route to want to uh, Lance Moore there so that's another reason why it's on the field is because it acts as like a smash kind of uh, hitch corner kind of concept where we're basically sucking down the cover two. Um, another thing that's really good is this route to Colston against the cover two. You see that it's going to fit in behind and again that's what the hitch route does. We'll take a look at that one more time and we'll see how the hitch route uh, against cover two is going to suck down uh, those yellows. And so we'll see how that thing sucks it down and you see we can fit in Colston in behind it. And another thing you can do to kind of make this even more, uh, just to make my point even clearer, we're going to put Colson on a curl. And now you're going to see everything. It's all sucking down, and you see that it really isolates that defender. Uh, but with the in route, you get a little bit better uh, separation against man, so that's why we run the in route. Another thing that's cool to note is this play stock has a smart routed in route, so you don't actually have to put him on it. Uh, but anywho. And then the uh, final read against cover two, if for example they use her that in route, um, then this R1 route is going to get right in a really nice void. Um, Corey, Wright made a, Corey White made a really good play there. Uh, but what should happen is this, this hitch route that we're running. Um, so let's set this up real quick. Um, but this hitch route should hold down those yellows. So that we can fit in this little this little route to Sproles in, in behind it. It's a little tender area, but it is uh, worth noting. Uh, the next reads uh, are going to be against cover three. So what's interesting to note about cover three is this quick throw to to the uh, flat is not going to be the same. Even though if they put him in maybe a purple zone, you'd think that it would work the same exact way as it was last year, where we could just quick throw the flat against the cover three and we kind of can but you see that catch tackle and it's really not a good look against cover three and so this is primarily a two deep uh, beating play but we'll show you some reads against cover three so one of the things that's interesting to note is this corner route again is wide open against cover three uh, because it's a compressed corner route and basically it's making almost a curl flat concept over there on the outside 
Um, and then the, the but what's really good against cover three is these routes to the inside here, these uh, off the right edge. And you see that that in route is going to be even more open this time. It's basically inverted inverted levels from a compressed set is what we're running here. And uh, you see how this route to Colston against the cover three, that, that little yellow zone is going to get sucked down to the hitch route. And you see how we can hit Colston now really quickly. Your, your defense might get a little... Um, might get a little uh, large and in charge and try to YY cushion coverage to stop that in route. But now you see that we can hit it with that Meacham route, that hitch underneath. And that's kind of what it's only used to just, it's a zone read and it's really not anything for man. And it's mainly just used to suck down the zones uh, when we want to run cover, when they want to run cover three, cover four, and cover two. Um, and then our final read here again is this route to the halfback, passing down to the inside. You see the same exact separation, even a little bit more against the cover three. And then lastly, I do want to show you one other thing here. Cover four defense. Um, again, what your opponent will be doing is if they if they get those purple zones out there, you see that we can kind of quick throw that to the flat and get a quick five, six yards. Um, another thing that's interesting to note is the corner route will not work against cover four, which is another reason why we, want, we don't want to force uh, throws into coverage. You see how Robinson's in a really good position there to make a stop. And uh, that's why we don't want to force throws. Uh, we want to always look to the area that we're going to be throwing, not exactly the receiver. Uh, and then as you see here, this little hit track to meet him is really effective against cover four. So uh, just a little complimentary play to something that we'd like to do at a shotgun type. Figured I'd break it down for you guys today. And uh, if you guys like videos like this, uh, leave a like rating below and we'll be keep we'll keep bringing them. Excuse me. We will keep bringing them to you. So uh, thanks for your time today, guys. Hopefully this video was beneficial.